Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Judelation here, and today I'm coming with you with a AK-47 review plus tips and tricks on how to dominate with this gun, what its strengths and weaknesses are, and how you guys can uh, basically take full advantage of the AK-47. Really, one of my favorite guns in the Call of Duty series. Um, AK-47 is unlocked at level 38, as you all know, and uh, it's a really powerful gun. It's 40 damage up close and 30 damages from afar. So that means it's a three three bullet kill up close and four from before. Um, if you put a silencer on it, the the range is gonna be three bullets from up to like 25 meters. And after 25 meters, it's gonna be a um, a four bullet kill. So if you guys know how the distance is, you, you guys should know that it, it's really good to use a silencer in this gun if it's gonna be a close range battle because. You're gonna have three bullet kill, which is pretty powerful. Plus, you're gonna be off the map. Um, but if you take the silencer off, it's, you're gonna be 50 meters. So you basically lose 25 meters by putting a silencer on it. That three burst kill advantage. So um, the AK-47 uh, is not really late, level 38. So you're not gonna see a lot of people who are prestiging rocking this gun. The Galil is probably a lot more popular. And with good reason, the Khalil and the AK-47 are very similar. Um, they both have the same strengths and weaknesses. Um, the Khalil, you're going to get a lot more bullets in your mag. A, a regular mag is um, 35 bullets. and extended is 50. That's pretty good that, for the Khalil. But the drawback is the Khalil has a very slow reload. It's almost 4 seconds to reload an empty mag. So... A, um, it doesn't really make sense to put um, slide of hand on the Galil because it's only gonna make you have a decent reload. Okay, I think that the, they did that on purpose. There's a reason why these guns have a slow reload, and I'm gonna talk about that later. Um, well, the AK-47, uh, it's not gonna compete with the Hamas or the AUG when it comes to killing people at close range. Um, it takes like 0.24 seconds to take someone down and with the AK-47 and the Galil. So that's, you know, that may not sound like a lot of time, but for Call of Duty, trust me, there are a lot of guns that do it a lot better. For example, the Scorpion, I know for a fact, uh, it takes like, like the fastest gun to kill people with two bullets in close range, like 0 .6, 0 .16 seconds. So um, that's why, in my opinion, the best way to use the AK-47 is you want to be in a support role, okay? You do not want to be rushing with this gun like you would with the FAMAS or the AUG. The FAMAS has a high rate of fire. It's like 938, 938 RPM. So you're going to be able to take people down really quick, like 0.19 seconds in close range combat you can take people down with the FAMAS so the FAMAS and the AUG are really like to, to rush with these guns if you want to use them like SMGs run around take people down from close range but if you're using the AK-47 you want to be like in a support role you want to go use the like stay behind your teammates use them like shields so you want them to like um basically you want them to walk run around and clean up after them like if they get killed you want to be in the, behind them in a supportive role and take him down, which is basically what I do this whole game. If you look at the gameplay, I mean it's not beastie, but I have low kill streaks on. I did basically wanted to show the AK-47 at work. You know, I love using this gun, man. The advantage this gun has over other guns like the Galil is it has a very controllable fire rate. As you can see right there, you don't really have to burst fire in close range. It helps a lot when you burst fire from medium to long range. Because um, this gun recall, especially at long range, is very good. But as you see right there, I get knife. This is not a. If, the, if I had the FAMAS, that guy would be dead. But because of this gun, it has a silencer on it. And it, I mean, the silencer really didn't impact that that much. But it's really a, a mid range gun. That's where you're going to find the strength of this gun. You're going to take people down real quick with it. Close range, not a good gun. You can get knifed a lot using this gun at close range. I find that a lot. Okay, um, you really want to use your um, you want to weaken an opponent if you're gonna get into close range combat. Weaken your opponent. Use your flashbangs. Oh, that was a new move right there. I just burned myself. 
Yeah, but you want to use the flash bends a lot. You want to use the grenades. Yeah, as you see right there, I just took I'll that guy down. I was yeah. basically a cleaning up. You want to be a cleaning up roller. Like when people get, after they get into a fight, after they don't have full health, you want to take him down. See, right here, I burst fire. It really helps with your accuracy. Um, but see right there, I was too close to the enemy. I should have stayed back a little bit more because that's not the strength of the AK-47. You're not going to be able to range close range combat with um, SMGs and whatnot because they, unless, like I said, the Scorpion kills in 0.16 seconds. Even if you get the first shot out, you're going to lose the battle. Trust me, okay? If you want a running gun, use the AUG or the, uh, yeah, the AUG right here is a really good running gun um, weapon. Or the FAMAS. Those are the really aggressive weapons and that's why they gave these guns in my opinion such a slow reload that's a huge weakness of um the galil and the ak-47 reloading is such an important thing in this game but they they made these guns have a slow fire rate i believe the fire rate of these guns uh is approximately 750 rpms not as um that's not going to be able to compete with the smgs and the augs and the famasas of the game you see Right here, I use my flashbangs, and it gets me a nice triple, sexy ass triple right there. That's why you want to use your flashbangs before you throw your grenades. And with this class, I got scavenger on and warlord. You get extra grenades and tactical mask with this. I also, my third perk is um tactical mask. Um, um, actually, my third perk is um yeah tech. Yeah, please don't use like last stand with a gun like the AK-47. That's just an embarrassing. This is a man's gun. Don't be running around with last stand. I, I think tactical mass is the best perk. Now, you see right there? I should have left because I just killed half the team and I just stood in the same part. Obviously, they're going to come back and they're going to know I'm going to be right there. Don't do that. If you, if you get a, like a triple kill, don't stay in the same spot because they're going to come after you. That was a mistake I made right there. Um, but yeah, I think the best perk you should use with this gun is Tactical Mass Pro. Because that way you won't wor have to worry about flashbanging yourself. I do that a lot. The throwing in this game is pretty crappy. Um, so yeah, use Tactical Mass. Try to get Tactical Mass Pro. Hacker is pretty good as well. I mean, just a regular hacker. Even ha if you don't have Hacker Pro, Hacker is, is much better than uh, Last Stand in my opinion. So, as you see right here, I'm just cleaning up. I'm staying at a place where I can, uh, by the time the people get in this area of the map, they're probably going to be like, they just killed somebody, so they're going to have like half health anyway, so it's going to be easy to take him down with the AK-47, as a high power, so the first few bullets take a lot of damage, it's just that you don't want to get in a close range with this gun, trust me, you might win 50% of your battles, but the other 50% you're just going to lose to the um, shotguns, uh, I got totally owned right there. That's why I, li I like to use um, Fly Jacket a lot. Really, it's going to save your life in a lot of situations, man. Trust me. So, yeah, um, right here, I'm just... Basically, I play the objective. I'm not just camping like a little girl. I, I don't never suggest that, but still. You stay back with this gun. And using the silencer in this gun, it although it cuts your, um, your three-kill range in the almost half, to only about 25 meters in a small map like this it really doesn't matter you could use a silencer stay back and um, clean people clean up after um, every battle or somebody when you hear somebody like right there see how easy it was to clear that up, clean that up because they were already in a fight they had, they already taken uh, some damage so it's re easy to clean up the FAMAS is a really good rushing gun but it's not good for that type of role because the FAMAS has a high fire rate. Uh, 938 uh, RPMs is pretty fast and you're going to run through bullets real quick. Which is why everybody was, um, has, uh, you know, they have um, um, sleight of hand with the FAMAS. They also like to use sleight of hand with um, um, yeah, dual mags. That's what I'm using, uh, a silencer and dual mags. I don't, I don't know why I keep forgetting that. But yeah, so um, I do pretty good in this game. I, I'm rocking low kill streaks to basically show the gun. See right there? That's why you don't want to use this gun as a um, close range combat. 
he was he had a fast firing gun, so I was not able to line from. But see, I use my flashbangs, get an easy uh, 100 points for sticking him with Syntex right there. Which is why I, I really like Warlord Pro. You get extra grenades. And Warlord Pro and Scavenger just go hand in hand. And right here I get a nice spray, which is really a strength of this gun because it, it, you don't have to reload as, as quickly as a FAMAS. You're going to get more triple space with this gun than the FAMAS because it runs out of ammo so quick. So, um, use this gun, um, just like you would use the Galil, you want to stay mid-range, and here I get a nice, um, cap and kill, 32 and, uh, 12, alright, thanks guys, rate, subscribe, comment, alright, peace out YouTube.